Welcome to more Super Mario Bros. 2. We're gonna go, or I guess Super Mario All-Stars. We're gonna go back into Super Mario Bros. 2, or for some reason they call it Super Mario 2 right there, but it's definitely Bros. We're gonna go into World 4 here. Even though it's called Super Mario Bros. 2, we actually do have four characters, and I'm gonna pick my dude Toad. This is actually take two of this recording. I, I just did this and I forgot to hit record, so we're gonna do it again. Let's go. So World 4 right here is actually a pretty easy world. We do have these enemies here, which will kind of go back and forth and try to chase you along. And as you might notice, we've got some ice, which is pretty slippery. But other than that, World 4 is honestly not that bad. I don't even think this video will be that long because of how quick World 4 is to get through. But I do want to go over here. Nope, not get that. I want to go over here and get this because that's a potion now you could take this potion oh gosh dang it guy yeah you fall in the water take that dude you can use the potion on the right here to get the coins or what I'm gonna do is get the mushroom so we'll use it up here this is where the mushroom kind of is this guy's just like keep respawning and falling into the pit and dying come on guys you gotta you gotta live longer than two seconds dang oh whoa he spawned right next to me but we're fine I guess I could pick up something just to run a little quicker since we're uh well I think all the characters run faster when you pick something up. It's just very noticeable with Toad because he's so fast. But yeah, that guy, you're no use to me anymore. Let's go up here, grab ourselves another potion, and we'll go ahead and throw it there. Now, the mushroom's easy to get. I want to see if we can also get all three of these coins. The one at the bottom is kind of tricky. But we got it. All right, got all three coins. And down here, we, I want to go down here and get this plant. You might be wondering, what the crud is this plant down here? Well, it's probably not what you expect. It's a gosh dang rocket ship. Like, well, why, why wouldn't they hide a rocket ship in a plant, dude? I don't know how they fit it in there, but they did. It's got gas and everything, and it exploded. Great. So we've kind of got some, like, crazy boss music right here, but it's really not an actual boss fight. It's just kind of a slightly difficult section where we've got these shy guys, and there you go. You can see they can actually shoot fire. If you're not careful, you'll get hit by that crud. But they're super easy to kill off, and you can honestly just run past them if you uh, if you want to. It's really not a hard section. Like, they've got a couple times where they'll kind of come from above and try to ambush you, and the fireballs will go along like that. But it's just, it's just not a challenging section, especially if you take the time to get all four hearts like we did. We're done. There's no boss fight. There's no, like, secret Lego room. We just, that's it. The first stage is done. Let's see if we get any extra lives this time. I, I say this time, because during my first attempt at this recording, I got no extra lives. But hey, this time we get the Shy Guys, or whichever, whatever those guys are called. We get two extra lives. Cool. But I guess that's it. All right, so for this next stage, I actually want to choose Princess Peach. She's actually really handy for this one. So let's go use her World 4-2. Now, we kind of start in, like, this little cave down here, but it's not really a cave stage. Gosh dang it, go up there, Princess Peach. Uh, it's not really a cave stage. We just go up a little bit, and now we're above land. Lots more ice again, and we've kind of got these little enemies. We just have to run past and try not to die. Uh, but what I would recommend is, if there's a gap on the bottom, kind of just duck under them like that. And if there's not, just jump over, them, uh, jump over them. But, yeah, if there's a gap, definitely take advantage of that. Just hit down, and it, it goes right through it. And as you can see, it's a very so short section, and we're through it. Now, down here, we've got whales! They're gonna sprout some water up like that. You gotta be careful with water. I'll point that out in a second, but I wanna go over here. Okay, not that one. There it is! Let's get that potion. I wanna throw that down, and the mushroom is gonna be on his tail. I gotta be careful not to fall in the water and die. Let's get that coin as well. There we go! So, with the water, you gotta be careful, because if you touch it on the side, you'll get hurt, but... If you stand on the bottom, it'll actually, uh, it'll sprout you right up, so that's really handy. We can go up top, which is awesome, because there's lots of cherries up here. Now, over here we've got another potion. On the left we've got a bunch of coins we can get. There's also a warp we can take to World 6 to the right, but since I'm not really doing any warps during this playthrough, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna go down and get these coins, I'll try to get as many as I can, but I'll show you guys where the warp would have been, it's kind of super obvious. I mean, it's like the same kind of pot thing that you have to go inside as all the other worlds, so it kind of stands out like a sore thumb in this particular stage. Let's go up top, get more cherries, I think the star will be here, there it is. So the funny thing is, if you get the star, of course you can kill those little masked enemies down there, but you can also kill the whale's water for some reason. So you can just walk right into it, it just vanishes. It's pretty awesome, it makes the stage super, super easy. That right there is the little pot you would take the potion over to. And over here we've got more rockets! I guess we're like Team Rocket up in here, dude. But yeah, if you wanted to uh, take the warps, it was just that little pot that we jumped over. No big deal. Now right here, crud! There we go. It's a little bit tricky, but basically there's a giant pit of spikes, and we kind of have to walk along the enemy to get across it. I like to throw Shy Guy down, I just find him... He's, because he's so slow, it's a lot easier than uh, trying to go on top of that 
mechanical, whatever that thing was. So I just picked Shiga up, throw him down, and once we get all those cherries, we can get the star, which we totally missed. Not a big deal. I just want to carry the potion across here because the mushroom happens to be over on this side. So we'll grab that. Not really any coins to get, so we'll just move on. Whoa! And watch out for the hedgehog guy. And now we'll go to the boss fight. Yeah, like I was saying, World 4 is pretty easy and it's pretty short as well. So even though we're only like five minutes in, we're almost done with the second stage. It's got to not get hit by fire. We'll be just fine. The last stage, the last stage here is kind of, kind of a weird one because it could be tricky or it could be like the easiest final stage in the game. So I'll, I'll show you guys the trick to make it really easy, but I'm not going to abuse it myself. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and spend a bunch of coins here. If this happens to be a short video, that's okay. That's kind of why back on the very first episode, I said that because we're only doing one world per episode, it might make some of the episodes short. The first three weren't too bad, but this one might be short just because World 4 is so quick. But I will say the last stage is more complicated than the first two, so maybe we'll still have a full episode here. Who knows, but if it's short, it's short. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Let's keep spinning here. One more spin. I want to get up to a billion lives, or, okay, I, I would take 24, that'd be fine too. Well, let's go choose Luigi, why not? I actually think Luigi's pretty handy for the stage as well. So once again, we start inside like a cave, but we just go leave the cave. And now we're up here, so we've got Birdo, but we don't actually really want to kill Birdo. Instead, I want to take this potion, and let's go over to this side, because that's where it's going to be. It's going to be a, on top of this crud. And because we're Luigi, we can jump up there super easily. And once again, we're going back out, but again, we don't want to kill Birdo. What I want to do is actually try to land on top of this egg. And I got to be very careful not to pick the egg up because then I'll die. But we want to ride the egg all the way across to over here. Yeah. So let me see. I, I forget if there's anything in here. I think there's nothing inside these. Um, yep. Okay. So here's kind of where the trick is with this stage. If we go inside this door, we're going to have a big section that we have to go through. It's pretty tough. And uh, eventually we'll come out from another door on the other side, or you can kind of just jump along. This is the door we're going to come out of. I don't know why they're so close together, but yeah, once we go through that big section, this is where we'll come out at. So if you want to skip it, you could just jump along. I think uh, Peach and Luigi can do it just fine, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the section in proper here. It's honestly not that bad. I would still say it's easier than the last stage of World 3, although those guys kind of bumped me right there. Oh, gosh dang, almost ran into him again. Yeah, these guys, the thing about them is they do go back and forth, but they have no way to go up. So as long as you're higher up than they are, you don't have to worry about it. So you really just want to try to get above them as soon as you can. And as long as you do that, you'll be just fine. And a lot of the times they can't make it across gaps either. So yeah, just go across the gap or try to go above them and you'll be just fine. It's like right here. Once we go up top, they can't get to us anymore. We're safe. We can move on into this door here. And there we go. So this puts us out here, but this is not actually the end yet. Like, if we go to the left, this is not where we were. This is a different section. Now, the one downside to skipping this the this big old section, if you take the trick at the start, is that you won't be able to get this potion right here. Now, once we get this potion, we have to kind of go way out of our way to actually get the mushroom. They hide this one pretty well, but basically we have to climb up this castle, jump all the way to over here, and now we can throw it down. Yeah, they, they get pretty dastardly sometimes with how they want to hide these mushrooms, but I'm gonna get them anyways. We got four, four hearts right now. Good stuff, dude. And now down here, we have to ride a shy guy again, but we want to ride the red one because the blue one will stay up top, so you, you can't really ride him so well. So we'll just stay on this red guy. Now, from here, we could jump down. I'm just gonna keep riding the shy, guy, uh, the shy guy, but when you do drop down, there's a lot of cherries, and you can't really get those on the shy guy, so it might be better to drop down yourself, but I'm not too worried about it. Now, from here, if we go down, there's a locked door. Where's the key? It's right inside the door. So we've got to deal with another one of these masked gosh dang crutters, and we've also got to deal with the ice and these slippery guys all at the same time. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed again. Come on, get in there. There we go. Yeah, sometimes missing the door kind of happens. So what you could do for the second is you could kind of save up your cherries and then get the star after you get the key. Oh gosh dang it. Okay, let's just get rid of that for a second and see if I can get past these guys. There we go. The mask guy is back. As long as we're fast, we can kind of stay ahead of him, but I'm not doing so well. Oh boy. Okay. Stay away from me, dude. We're kind of past the hard part. There we go. Let's get in there. I missed it again. Come on. Come on. Oh, got it. So we're down to two hearts. We're still going to have to do a boss fight with just two. And that guy's just a jerk. There's nothing to the right, so we'll just go inside here. And we're still not at the boss fight, but we can go grab this. Let's not get killed by the slippery guy. Let him die. And there we go. 
So let's try to do this boss fight with just two hearts. But we got Creepy Flame Guy, an ice world with a flame guy as the boss. I don't know. I don't know what's up with this game, but that's just how it rolls. So I want to try to get above this guy because he always drops fire down. He can't actually attack up. Although just touching this guy will actually hurt you, so you got to watch out for that as well. Uh, got him. Cool. Now this guy only takes three hits, so it's not too bad. And let's see. There we go. Although once you kill him, he actually does splits. So we have to kill these little guys as well. So let's see if we can do this. If we do it right, we can actually crud. <laughs> yes, we can crud. We can we can make him bounce and hit multiple at once. Okay, there we go. We got them all. Awesome. So I managed to do that without taking any damage. All right. I'm still glad I got the extra mushrooms because, as you see, I, if I only had two hearts, I would have died in that stage. But all right, guys, as quick as it was, that is it for World 4. So I guess thank you guys so much for watching. We'll come back next time and do World 5. Take care.